What's up, YouTube family? You guessed it. We're back with another retail arbitrage vlog. Going to be hitting a ton of stores today, trying to buy as much stuff as possible. Our first stop of the day, I bet you guys guessed it, Ross, Ross Toys. Going to be trying to buy as much toys as possible for the next few weeks. Uh, but check out this. This is like a sparkly Kia Soul. I I've never seen someone wrap a Kia Soul, but that looks pretty cool. But we're going to go into Ross and hopefully find some good profits. We are in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we're going to start working our way back down south, um, hitting all the Rosses in Burlington along the way. Also, just got a notification on my phone. Nike is giving 30% off this week. Um, I think it's kind of like their friends and family. Um, so we're going to be hitting that as our last stop of the day. So let's see how much money we can spend, how much profit we can make. Let's go. wasn't the best to be honest only picked up nine items spent a total of uh, 97 dollars everything's at least a 60 percent roi so probably gonna make at least around 60 dollars profit from this stop so i guess not bad but last year for q4 i mean ross was just killer i mean i'd go in pull out 30 40 50 items at every single store this year they just they've gotten quite a bit of toys so far but a lot of them Prices are either destroyed or they're just not that many profitable items. So we're going to head to a few more, see if we can have some better luck. Let's go. number two hopefully we have some better luck so let's head on in and see what we can find <music> Second Ross location did a bit better. Still, I only got 15 items, but they were higher price items, higher profit. Um, so I definitely, when I can buy higher price items that sell for a higher price and gain me a higher profit, um, I like doing that because it's all about efficiency. If you have to prep, you know, five products that make you five dollars each, or one product that makes you 25. I'm gonna choose that one product every single time. So I spent a total of $250 on 15 items. Um, so we're about $350 total spent so far at the first two Rosses. I'm gonna to head to this next location. They have a Burlington and a Ross right across the street from each other. So we're gonna go hit those up and see what we can find. Just arrived at Burlington, gonna head on in again. I kind of already know what I'm looking for here, but we're gonna see if we can find anything new. Let's go. Guys, check out the name of this gas station I just stopped at. It's called Super Pumper. Super Pumper. Sounds a little strange if you ask me. Alright, hit up Burlington and Ross. They both sucked. I only got five items from Burlington and two at this Ross, so it's just kind of dead today. But I've been selling these little Hatchimal things for about $60, and I've been buying them for about $25 at Ross, and they've been selling it the day they get to the warehouse. Um, but I didn't even notice. I just grabbed this one here, and it didn't have a price tag on it, so the store person ringing me up, they actually basically just put it in for seven dollars and 99 cents so i almost got it for like what 16 17 dollars cheaper so an extra 16 bucks profit so this alone will be like 35 dollars profit at least um so it's not bad but it only took me five minutes to go to this ross but 
it's just it gets discouraging i'm not gonna lie when you're going store after store and they're all just kind of trash um but that's what you get with retail arbitrage i guess it's not always finding a ton of stuff some days are good some days are bad today hasn't been the best so i think we're gonna stop hitting ross's and burlington's for the day um, and just go hit the outlets to get that 30% off Nike. You might hit up Adidas, not sure yet. Um, so let's go do that and see how much profits we can find. All right, just arrived at Nike. Um, again, it's 30% off. If you guys aren't Nike members, be sure to enroll in that because you'll always get sent the discounts that they run, the promotions that they run. Um, probably going to be scanning for Amazon, looking for some shoes to possibly sell on GOAT or StockX. Um, but let's head on in there and see if we can find some gems. Well, guys, my days of shopping and supporting Nike are over. Uh, <laughs> It's been weird for some reason, certain locations here in Arizona, the managers are just jerk offs. And so, there's one location here in Arizona, the manager's super cool. He lets you, you just follow the rules, buy 30 items, up to five of each item, you have no problems. But the other managers at all the other locations think they can just make up their own rules. And they basically said that I'm not allowed to use my 30% off discount that they sent me, which makes absolute, well, first they said you can only buy one item. And then I was like, well, my dad was just in here two hours ago and he bought 12 items and you guys gave him the 30% off on all that. So you guys are just making up rules on an individual basis, which if you want, if you're going to do that rule for the whole, every person that shops there, that's cool. But if you're just going to make it up for me, you will not be getting my business anymore. And this is a location that I've spent at least $100,000 at over the last two years, this single location. And to think that they wouldn't, I only had 16 items, but they wouldn't give me give me the discount. So I was like, all right, well, have fun putting it all back. And I left, so figured since we couldn't spend any money there, we're gonna stop at a couple more Burlington's and Ross's and see if we can uh, make up the time we just wasted. Finished up at Burlington, spent $269. Um, got a total of, I don't know how many products are all back here. I'll show you guys some of the stuff I bought once I get back and get it all unloaded, but we're making our last stop of the day at Ross. Um, not bad, I think I've probably sourced maybe 80 units so far today. So not a killer day, but not a complete waste of time in my opinion. Um, so we're gonna head on in, make our last stop, try to find a good amount of stuff. We're gonna head home, unload it, and see how much profits we made. All right, guys, just got back from Ross, finished prepping everything here. Got, got a bunch of like Disney toys, things of that nature, Spider-Man and stuff like that. But let's go over the numbers. 22 different SKUs, 69 items. 76,000 rank, 2,200 sales value, 800 buy cost, $686 profit. So I pretty much spent maybe four and a half hours sourcing an hour prepping all this stuff. So five and a half hours of work, over $100 an hour. Not bad if you ask me, um, but that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on the next one.